I was in China when the year of the horse began, not the country, but in Macy's, where I work in luxury houseware, China department. We sell fine linens too and crystal, none of your faux plastic crap like affordable housewares. We're talking elegance. So for the year of the horse, our manager ordered a Baccarat horse valued at over $5,000 to display for the entire year. It was an inspired concept and it would have won us no end of special attention if not for the kid, Randall Hussman, who came tearing through nonstick cookware across the white sail bedding and crashed into headlong into the year of the horse display. The horse toppled. It didn't crash, it toppled in slow motion. It's, it's more like it laid down on its side and let out a long sigh or, or a whinny. And then it drew slowly back to its feet, shook its flanks, lowered its head, and began munching on the Easter grass that the manager had put in the case. No one noticed but me. They were too busy pulling the boy to his feet, demanding to know his name, examining him for injuries, and finding none, dragging him toward the down escalator. The clerk from Bargain Rugs wanted to call the police, but a new employee, a trainee from S.D. Lauder Teen Line, who'd been taking her break in picnic supplies, she insisted we let the boy go. Nothing broke, she pointed out, nodding toward the grazing horse. All eyes turned toward the horse, which seemed unaware. It did stop munching momentarily. Well, I was stunned. I mean, how could I be the only one tuned in enough to fully appreciate the miracle of a living, breathing, munching crystal horse? Yet I thought this could be to my advantage. I'll be the one to introduce this horse to the world, tour with him, maybe to Europe, uh, be on the Johnny Carson show with him. Johnny was off the air, but that's an unimportant detail by comparison. The store closed to the public at nine o'clock sharp. Most of the employees filed out to the lowest level parking lot, but not me. I hid behind a stack of My Little Pony blankets, 75% off and still not selling. When the night security light came on, I made my move. I tiptoed over to the horse, who was just then sniffing the glass, first one wall and then another, in a clear effort to find his way out. There was no bottom to the case, so I simply lifted it up and freed the horse. He took in a deep, appreciative breath of fresh air and cautiously began wending his way among the brandy snifters toward the edge of the display block. And then he simply vanished gone in an instant, not even a glimmer of his multifaceted tail remained. I stood there holding my breath, praying to God he'd reappear, but no. As I gently replaced the glass enclosure, I noticed a small light from among the bright green grasses. I reached in and I retrieved a tiny crystal item, like a flattened bead. It glimmered in my palm, and I bent down to examine it more closely and caught a whiff of it. Ugh, horse shit. The grass was full of them. If only these droppings had disappeared and the horse remained, I would be a wealthy woman today. But I do have the crystal turds, which are stunning, miraculous, and not for sale. Perhaps I'll donate them to the Smithsonian.